prove that the vectors this vector a vector b and c vector c form the size of a triangle and hence determine midpoint of the sides That's fine. So we can first of all we can sketch here that is triangle A. That thing that is given by three I plus J. minus 2k and the vector b is given by negative i plus 3j plus 4k and then c is given by 4i minus 2j minus 6k so they want us to prove that uh, the three vectors form the sides of a triangle okay let's uh, let's have the triangle here this triangle A B and then C now this triangle ABC we can say that uh, AC is given by AB plus BC Now, if these are vectors and this is a triangle, then we we know that uh, when you take um, vector AC must be equal to AB plus BC. AB plus BC. Therefore, if we can prove that this equals to this, then we will have proved that these are the sides of a triangle. Now, before we do that, we also have what you are calling the position vectors. Position vectors are positions that originate from origin. For example, if this is point O, then we have we have this so this will assist us to study the position vectors now um, AC is given by OC minus OA which equals to OC OC is given by this which is 4 4I minus 2J minus 6K then minus OA OA is this which is this one 3i <coughs> of j and then minus 2k so when you subtract here we have uh, we have 4i minus 4i minus 3j will remain with 
4i minus 3i will remain with the i then minus 2j minus j we have minus 3j then we have 6k minus uh, this this 2k mm -hmm. I put, can see vector a uh -huh. vector a yeah so this is uh, uh, 6k 6k we so see can confirm that uh -huh. 6 so this is minus 6k minus minus so it will be this will be positive so that we have negative 4k so this is AC now we can also get AP AP equals to OP minus OA which equals to OP which will be now this minus I 3J 4K minus OA which is this 3i j minus 2k which equals to so minus i minus 3i we have minus 4 minus 4i then we have 3j minus j we have 2j and then we have 4k minus minus plus 6 6k so this is ap now we can also get bc uh, bc equals to oc minus bc which equals to oc also which is the position vector which is this one so we have uh, 4i minus 2j minus 6k minus b oc okay bc equals to oc minus this is OP. P is equals to OC minus OP. So OP is that one. Minus I. 3J. 4K. So this equals to 4I minus minus. So we have 3. For 4i four minus minus so it will be 4i plus so this is 5 5i 2j minus 3j we have minus 5j negative 6k minus 4k negative 10 negative 10k but remember here we now need to add a plus a B plus B C now our A our A B is this one so A B plus B C this equals to our A B which is now minus 4i 2j 6k plus plus BC which is this 5 minus 5J minus 10K <coughs> which equals to four, negative 4I four plus 5I will remain with the I 2J plus minus 5J so it will be 
minus 3j and then 6k plus minus 10k will remain minus 4k <coughs> Now, A, B plus B, C equals this. Now, compare this with the A, C. A, C is positive I, negative 3J, negative 4K. So, you can see that A, C, which is this one, is the same as that. Therefore, we can say, since A, C equals to A, a B plus B C the three the three vectors form the sides of the side of a triangle the side of a triangle so we have proved that now and then they are saying after proving hence they determine the midpoint of the sides. Uh -huh. Now we come back here to this triangle. So the midpoint of the sides, let us say that this is the midpoint, we can call it M. This is the midpoint, we call it N. This is the midpoint, we call it K. And of course, the midpoint also has the position vectors, like that. These are the position vectors. The position vectors of the midpoint. The position vectors of the midpoints. Now, um, we can say midpoint of PC, which is M, midpoint of PC, which is M. Now, if you want to get OM, we can get OM as OB plus a half B, C, a half, because this is in the middle of B and C. Therefore, we shall say um, OM, OM equals to OB plus a half B, C, which equals to OB, which is negative I, 3J, 4K, plus a half BC. Now, BC is this one, which is 5I, minus 5J, minus 10K. So this equals to minus I, 3J, 4k plus now this will be 2.5i minus 2.5j minus 5k this equals to so negative i plus 2.5j i so we have 1.5i 3j minus 2.5j will remain with 0.5j uh, 4k minus 5k will remain with negative k So this will be the midpoint of BC, this side. Then we can get midpoint, midpoint of now AC, 
which is which is k which is k at this point so we shall say that ok equals to if one k to k you can have o a plus a half a c ok equals to o a plus a half a c Now O A is three I J minus two K plus a half S E S is this one half I minus three J minus four four K so this equals to three J two K plus so this will be now zero point five I minus one point three J one point five and then minus two K which equals to here to be 3.5 I then we have J J minus 1.5 J will remain with minus 0 0.5 J 2K minus 2K plus minus we have minus 4 minus 4K so this will be the midpoint of of AC which is K. Uh -huh. So we now need the midpoint of AB. Midpoint of AB which is N. So ON. ON. ON is OA plus a half. A B O A plus a half A B which equals to O A is three three I J minus two K plus a half into A B our A B is this one This is our AB. So we have from um, minus 4i to j 6k, which equals to plus half of this will be minus 2i. This will be j. 3k which equals to 3i minus 2j we have j j plus j we have 2j this is i 2j then minus 2k plus 3k we have k so this will be the midpoint of ap which is n Thank you for watching and listening.